Jill, I love you. I do. I'm, we're doing this for a reason. I asked you to marry me because I know you're the one. Love you. You see, we've gathered today for a very serious purpose, not just the traditional one, but a very serious and yet joyful purpose, and that is to witness forever the miraculous union that's about to take place and to add our agreement to this union before God. God himself has said it's not good that the man should be alone. Therefore, I will make him a helper suitable for him. For this reason, a man will leave his mother and father and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. It's into this holy estate that Rick and Jill come now to be joined. <laughs> This ring is my pledge of trust, honesty, devotion, and most of all, love. I promise to be a faithful and loving husband, friend, partner, and confidant. I will love you my whole life, you and no other. Rick, I promise to always obey and honor you. I promise that your face will be the first thing I see each morning and the last thing I see every night. I will love you my whole life. You and no other forever. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss your <laughs>
raise a toast to my parents. You know, it was funny growing up how um, people say to you that, um, you know, <laughs> my mother. Everybody says, you know, one day, you know, you always, if guys always marry a woman like my mother, you know, like their mother, and I just say, you're, you're crazy. She drives me nuts. You know, <laughs> you, know you really do. <laughs> because we're so much alike, and I love her to death. But in all reality, it's not looking for a person like your mother. It's looking for a person that has the qualities your mother has. And, you know, when you're younger, you don't realize it. But when you get older, you start to think about it. You know, and then when I met Jill, I started looking at the, the things that I've found in her that my mom has showed me my entire life. That you never really learn to appreciate it until you look into the eyes of the one woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. And you realize that she's exactly like your mom. Is that your The The unselfishness. The giving without wanting anything in return, the unconditional love, and just giving all of yourself without expecting anything. And that's my mom. And mom, I married a woman just like you. <laughs> and nothing makes me happier. You know, you think about it, and it takes a while, but as you get older, you start to realize, and you look back on your life, and you look at the things, and you say, you know, Hearing at 4 o'clock in the morning, the alarm going off, and my dad going to work, and knowing that he's doing that for us, you know. The dedication and the love that he's shown to my mom for, as of today, 33 years. <clears throat> the respect and the devotion that he's shown to my family, and the kind of father that he is, he always has been. I can only pray that I will love my children and I will love my wife the way my father has done. And nothing makes me happier to feel that I've met the right woman and I have a son now, Brody, that I can be that father to. And I just hope that I can be half the man that my father was. A wonderful job, everybody. Long time back, ain't much of no early rise, early sack.
The wedding was beautiful. I was mighty, I was mighty proud of both of you. The vows were very special. And I wish you both happiness and a long life together. And, and I, Teresa and I both love both of you. Hello out there, everybody in Wally World. Rick, Jill, I want to wish you all the luck. I give you all the love from Linda and I. And may everything go well. And I God bless you all both. And plus, happy anniversary, hon. Um, I love you so much. And 33 years have been beautiful. I hope we have, we will have 33 more years, definitely. Love you. Hi, Rick. I just wanted to say thank you so much for loving me and Brody and for allowing us to be a part of your life. Um, I look forward to many, 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 many years with you. And in my vows, when I said I have to obey you, I was just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you so much. Jill? You know that I love you, it's something that I don't have to tell you, but I promise I will every single day. I don't ask questions that I don't already know the answer to, so I didn't really have to ask myself, is this the girl for you, because I already knew. And when I got down on one knee, I already knew your answer would be yes, because I could see it in your eyes, and I could feel it in my heart, that you were the one for me. And when you said yes, it was just a reassurance, and just like a little bonus. I love you so much, and I promise that when I got down on my one knee that day and asked you to marry me, I'll stay down on my one knee for the rest of my life and worship to you, and look at you, and be the man that you want me to be. I love you more than anything in this world, and that's why I want you to be my wife forever. I'll love you my whole life, you and no one else.